Greetings everybody, I am back. I am Mark here at Mark's Toy Box, and the last time we checked in I said we had a one-legged Hulk, and we were going to do something to give him another leg, and the best way to get him another leg is to pop open Loki. Uh, there have been numerous MCU versions of Loki made, and I'm sure there's been numerous comic versions of him, but I don't have any of them, I don't think. I don't know, maybe I do. I've got a lot of figures, and he might just be hiding somewhere. But anyway, this is a beautiful interpretation of comic Loki. <laughs> Mischievous. Looks like they use the same art on the sides and the back, but you actually get to see him holding a sword there. So, Loki, god of mischief. Adopted brother of Thor. Adopted son of Odin. Um, some would argue that by the time his time ended... In Infinity War, he had almost turned from villain to hero. Um, I actually would even argue that. But So, he had a great character arc in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. But this is not the Marvel Cinematic Universe Loki. I don't think comic Loki really ever has that good guy turn. Loki does not come with basically anything extra, but he does have that sword accessory. That's interesting. We got hair sticking out through there. I have to be careful not to pull that out. Okay. So, helmet with horns, looks gorgeous. This hair is not articulated, that's just stationary. Um, they make smaller bodies, but they make larger ones too. That's about the size Loki should be, probably. Looks like both of his hands can hold the sword. He'll put it in his right hand. Maybe. It's a little bit stiff on the plastic here. If you'll notice, the yellow on his plastic has sort of got a bit of a... It's not just a faint matte yellow, it's it's more of a gold yellow, really, to be honest with you. Um, so that's nice. He looks like a Packers fan, which... Strike one. Um, got all sorts of... The standard articulation, though, double jointed elbow. He's got a bicep cut, he's got a thigh cut, and a calf cut. I mean, he's got everything you'd want out of a Marvel legend. Say his head looked really weird, but that's because there's quite a bit of articulation on that neck ball. Ooh, but now it's really loose. It's probably held in place pretty stiffly in the package with that hair behind the plastic. Stand up, why don't you? There we go, Loki. Loki. All right, first objective thoughts about Loki. He's ready for a shampoo commercial. I mean, look at that, how it's gorgeously flowing. You know, I don't know. Some sort of shampoo brand needs to sign Loki. He looks mischievous. The horns look great. The detail in the helmet is mostly sculpted entirely sculpted because there's not really any paint on it but there's not really any paint that's supposed to be on it but if you look over here the paint application of his face spilled over for Biden so whatever painted on scales on the chest there's no real molding to that so they didn't do a lot of molding for the body they didn't do any molding for the body this is really just the same standard stuff you're used to all the molding came in the helmet and the hair the face which is you know special it's pretty nice that sword's pretty sweet all in all i love this i'm glad i have it you know i've got a fair amount of thor figures as well so he's gonna look awesome one of the other comic figures um in my opinion i guess they didn't really do a ton with him per se to make him but they didn't really have to it's a great representation of him and i'm glad they made him 
So looking at this figure of Loki, uh, as far as the figure itself goes, I don't really think Hasbro put a lot of work into him. I don't think they had to. Uh, there's just nothing all that spectacular about the figure in terms of the mold. The helmet and hair and head, those, those are great. And the sword's pretty cool too, but they didn't really put a lot of work into this. They didn't have to. It looks great. If you want a Loki figure that's comic based, get this Loki figure that's comic based. And furthermore, they gave us a Hulk leg. There we go. Build the figure's got two legs to stand on. We're getting closer and closer to having that Hulk. We could swing this Loki around and call him a puny god if he wanted to, but this is Professor Hulk, so he would probably be a little more pragmatic about it, a little less smashy-smashy. Anyway, I'm Mark, hence the hat, Mark. Mark at Mark's Toy Box on YouTube and Instagram because that's what I do. Toys. Toys is life. There's other parts of life too, so don't just get bogged down in toys, but do the other parts of life so you can buy sweet toys, like these ones. I am Mark here at Mark's Toy Box. Thanks a lot for checking me out. Uh, we're gonna continue down this line and hopefully eventually figure out what Hulk looks like with arms. So thanks for checking in, keep watching. We'll see you next time.